Welcome back to day two of me building a dream guest bathroom. Today, my walls fell apart, but before we get into that, I need to show you the vision. When I was gathering inspo for this room, I kept pinning wallpaper. But after doing my daughter's nursery, I learned that wallpaper can be thousands of dollars, and I don't have that in my budget. But I have budget for a $10 stencil, so we're going to be hand painting this entire room. Prepping a room for paint is one of my favorite parts of the entire remodel process because I love having a clean slate. And this room was extra easy to get to a clean slate because it was already boring. And because I'm going to be trapped in this bathroom for the next foreseeable future, and it is the size of a shoebox, I made sure to get it a nice deep clean so I wouldn't be trapped in fill. The last steps of prep were putting up the blue painter's tape and then taking off all the outlet covers and and finally, I was ready to paint. And I know you're like, oh my gosh, Kylie, that's just another white paint, but it's actually cream. And most importantly, it has a matte finish because if it was real wallpaper, it wouldn't be shiny. But right as I finished the cream base, I realized, oh my gosh, this wall is covered in texture and wallpaper would be smooth. So I was like, oh my gosh, no problem. I have a sander now. So this will be so easy. Dumb. So dumb. It just ripped off all the paint. The wall texture was still there. So it just fell off in clumps. And I had deja vu to when this happened to my other bathroom, but I just painted over that one. So I painted over this one too. Because of all the sanding, I went to bed in a dust storm, but at least the base layer is done. It looks absolutely perfect. And tomorrow we get to start all the fun stuff. We're going to paint flowers on every square inch of this room.